What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video we're going to talk about the J330 car jump starter. It's a portable jump starter that doubles as a um, flashlight. Well actually, let me bring it up over here. It doubles as a flashlight, it has a screen that tells you how much battery is left, and it has a um, USB 1 and USB 3 for um, charging your phone and it has a USB-C for charging the actual battery back up. Now this is used to jump start your car um, so you can actually pull this off here and plug this in and you can actually jump start your vehicle or charge your car battery with this device. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm going to talk a little bit about the device itself. I'm going to show a video of me jump starting my car because I actually bought this because my car battery died. Um, so I can actually show you it working. And um, then we'll go ahead and talk about whether I recommend this product or not. Now, before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And the number is pretty bad. So if you like this video, be sure to click on that sub or join button below. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Um, we have the actual jump starter so i already took it out so i'm just going to show you what was in the box it does come in a very nicely packed um, box here with instruction manuals all that good stuff and then when you pull this out it has the rest of your cables underneath now what cables come with this it has the car charger so these are the battery clips and this goes into the device when you want to use it. When you plug it in, it has a little light here that turns red and green saying that it's ready. When it's charging, it turns red to show you that it is active. Um, you never want to touch these together because it is very, very powerful and will put out a shock. But it does have reverse polarity control and a lot of safety features that should stop it from you know sparking or doing anything it's not supposed to, but you still don't want to you know, test those features because sometimes those features can actually involve, you know, messing up the device itself to keep you from hurting yourself. It'll it'll stop itself from, you know, sparking or, or causing a fire or anything, but it's also potentially going to brick the device in the process. Um, I don't know if that's how this one works. I'm not here to test that out. I'm not trying to break it, um, but definitely, um, you know, be safe when using these. It's a very powerful battery. Um, so what else comes with it? It does have a USB-C cable to charge it. It comes with that. And then, um, trying out the light, there's a few different features in the light itself. When you hold the button down, the light turns on. And then when you press it, it will blink. When you press it again, it will strobe. And then when you press it again, it turns off. So we have, um, a light we can use to even find where the battery terminals are, um, open everything up, and then once we find it, plug it in and charge the car battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the video of me charging the car here, and then we'll go from there. So my car is dead this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna place this down because it's a little bit hard to do all at once, and then I'm gonna plug it in and connect the clips and show you. So we're going to connect the negative terminal to the negative, the positive terminal to the positive, and it will automatically start charging. We can see that it's red. Now, now that it's on, we're going to go ahead and walk over to the car and turn it on, and we're going to let it charge for a little while. Yeah, the car is on. So that worked out great, and it worked out very, very quickly. The first time I actually used this, the um, car alarm started going off as soon as I touched the terminals to it so it immediately gave it enough power to not only you know get the electronics working but trigger the alarm as well so i turned off the alarm and everything started charging up fine and i was able to actually start the car again this time it didn't do that but when you plug it in you will probably be able to start your car it is 1500 amps and what that means is it can handle pretty much up to an eight liter gas car um mine is a mazda 3 and online it says it only needs like four to six hundred amps to actually jump start the car uh so this is more than enough for most consumer vehicles if you have a giant v8 truck or something 
you might need a more powerful one. There's a 2000 app or even potentially another brand that can go up to like three or 4,000 amps to charge those kinds of vehicles. But this one is up to eight liter gas, 6.5 liter diesel engines, and it works really, really well. Um, it has a 14,000 mAh battery, which is okay. It's, it's, I wouldn't recommend this to charge your phones and stuff. That's, that's a nice feature, but you want this as, you know, something to keep in your car to keep your battery, you know, starting. You don't want to be stuck somewhere and, um, not be able to start your car or have to ask someone for a jump. That's what this is really useful for. If you want a battery bank, buy a slimmer battery bank that has, you know, 20,000 miles or something amperage or something keep this for your car battery not to say that it won't work to charge your phones it's just this really shines for vehicles um but you know it does work it has usb 1 and usb 3 and i say that because um they're different charging rates uh one of the ports is faster than the others um that's the only reason i mentioned that there you can plug it into either one and it'll work it's not like a compatibility issue one is just slightly slower than the other um the other one of them has quick charge one of them has regular charge and then usb c allows you to actually charge the device that's one of the best things there is no wall plug in this you don't plug it into the wall at all you plug it into a usb port some people say it's really, really like uh, slow to charge. Um, that is not this device's fault. It depends on the kind of charger you use. If you use a charger like this, it's only going to be about you know 0.5 to one amp of charging, and it's going to take a long time to charge up 14,000 mAh batteries. Um, if you use a fast charger like this one, uh, fast charger, and it has like QC3 or anything like that it's going to charge a lot, lot faster. Um, so for the people saying that it doesn't charge very fast, you might not be using the right um, power source. Um, it charges pretty quickly for me. Um, I had this at 97% and I charged my car this morning or I jump started my car this morning and it is at 92%. This is a very efficient battery. Normally you would want to leave it plugged in. I had to drive um my fiance to work so uh, i couldn't just leave it plugged in for like a while but normally you want to leave it plugged in for like 10 minutes charge up the car that's probably going to take up like half the battery um from 100 percent to 50 but i was able to charge and start my car jump start my car with less than 10 percent of the battery that is amazing. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase. I actually got it for $45. It seems to be on sale for $49 um, and normally goes for $70. So it's it's still pretty good in terms of pricing. Um, I was lucky enough to get it at $45. But um, if you get it anywhere near that, it's probably going to be worth it. Um, it it's already paid for itself in terms of getting my car up and running. So yeah, let me know what you think of this product uh, in the comment section below. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Um, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you use that link, I'll get a little percentage as well. That's a nice little kickback for me for um, going through the hassle of actually trying this thing out on my own vehicle and seeing if I'm going to you know, destroy my car in the process or if it's actually going to work pretty well. Thankfully, it worked really well and I can wholeheartedly recommend this one. Uh, I'm not affiliated with AC Mount. Um, I don't I have a sponsorship with them. They don't, they've never contacted me or anything before. I just bought this because it had good ratings and um, it worked. So yeah, uh, actually one more thing. Um, if we look at the back, we can actually see the battery capacity and amperages there. So we can see that it is 51.8 watt hours. Um, USB output is five volt, 3.1 amp. And actually, I'm going to correct myself here and say that it's actually USB 1 and USB 2 are both 3.1 amps. So one isn't even slower than the other. I think I misread the instructions. But according to the back of this device, they are both fast chargers, not just one of them, both of them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. That's even better. I'm even happier with this purchase now. And I hope you have a good one. Peace. Might detect the architect, uh, might detect the architect, yeah, might detect the architect, uh.